Hey there! Looking to make some music? Make some beats perhaps? But got nothing to play on? Well I have got you sorted. Welcome to Ray's Musical Moment, Part 2, in Percussion. Today we'll be looking at making music with things from around the house. First up, we have this old mixing bowl that was just going to be thrown out, but I saved it because it makes a good high note. Next up, from the laundry, we have these two items. The first of which is a mop bucket, and the second of which is this washing basket. I also found this tube from the recycling, which makes a really nice note, so I figured we could use that in our video today. Next we have these. I just got some sticks from my garden, in case you wanted to play with some sticks as opposed to playing with your hands. If you notice, on the end I put a bit of tape. This helps with the grip, as well as means you're not going to get any splinters if it's a bit of splinter wood. I just used a bit of 100 mile an hour tape, also known as material tape, but you can use any tape. We're going to start once you've got your items of course, so feel free to pause the video here if you need to, to grab some stuff, have a look in the garden, have a look around the house, ask your parents. Once you've got everything, we're going to start with a simple beat. Most beats are made up in groups of four, so whenever you're counting, you only need to count to four and just repeat that. One, two, three. It's easy as that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? Now, of course, you could do this by yourself if it's just you with all your bits around you. Or if there is more than one person there, then you can share out the drums, having one for each person, and you can even get many sets of sticks, meaning you guys can make a big ensemble, excellent and together. So, trying that again. Let's see what we can come up with. This time we're going to add in the tube, see what it sounds like. Doing well, doing well. Now of course, if you don't happen to have enough buckets or enough washing baskets or whatever have you, at the end of the day, you can play with the sticks themselves. And you can have them in many sizes and they'll create different notes. There's two different notes there. And we have our little ones. Which are a much higher sound. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's see what the sticks sound like. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. When you're counting, if you want to add more beats and try to keep everything in time, you can add the word AND between each and every number. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. 
three and four, and one and two and three and four. And. Keeping in mind that you don't have to hit every single note that you say. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. See, to finish off today, we're just going to have a bit of a jam. Feel free to play along, play with your own music. Let's have a go. And there you have it. That's all we have for today. I hope you had some fun, and I hope you're going to go and play some music and share it with the people you can. This has been Ray's Musical Moment. I will see you next time. Tune in, and remember to stay safe and stay home.